Well, right off the bat, guys, the primary is over with. The Republican primary technically has been over for a very, very long time. We all knew that um, Donald Trump would be the GOP nominee. Now, officially on paper, he's not the nominee yet. Uh, but after Iowa, man, I, I believe that even the mainstream media is realizing that this thing is over with, man. It's over with. It's going to be Trump. And they have to accept that. Even uh, Beijing Biden has come to acknowledge that. Um, I believe a lot of the mainstream media has acknowledged that. But uh, Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis, as of right now, they're like, nah, we can still do this. Now, kudos to Vivek because he realized, yeah, it's over with. And I believe that his supporters are really going to go over and support Trump. Probably, I would say like 90 plus percent of his supporters will end up voting for Trump because their ideologies are pretty much the same. I don't see these people actually going and voting for Nikki Haley. I just don't see that. Even uh, Ron DeSantis. Now, Ron DeSantis, man, his campaign is truly over with. Now, the only thing that's actually keeping uh, Nikki Haley above water a little bit is Democrats. She is funded by Democrats. Democrats are voting for her. But it's still not enough, man. Donald Trump is the guy. Now, after New Hampshire, because Trump is clearly the favorite again, I think that Ron DeSantis is going to drop out. Now, where were his voters actually going to support? They're probably mostly, I would guess, support Donald Trump. But there has been some friction there as well. But I believe the vast majority would actually go and support Trump. Now, Nikki Haley, she truly doesn't have really any Republican supporters. So it is what it is on that. But however, we need to talk about it on CNN. Because CNN was supposed to actually um, host the next GOP debate. But even CNN knows it. Now, they haven't come out and said, hey, we're actually canceling this because we know that uh, Donald Trump um, is going to um, is going to win. They're not doing that. They're making a different excuse here. Well, not really an excuse. They really don't have anybody to debate. OK, that's pretty much it. But we'll dive into that in this video. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. Memberships are starting five dollars a month. Get access to our member live stream that we have every single Friday. The same thing if you also click that join button on Rumble. We appreciate the support. So let's jump over here to news mats. Look at this. No Trump, no Haley. So ABC cancels do Hampshire debate. I believe I actually said CNN, right? So it's ABC. My bad. Still doesn't matter. OK. So it's canceled right now because we knew that Trump wasn't going to debate. There was no reason whatsoever for Trump to debate. Trump hasn't attended one single debate. Not one. And he may be the uh, the first uh, candidate ever that I can think of in the modern era to not attend one single debate. He didn't have to. I mean, he was way, way up in the polls and he's only gotten stronger. Now that he won in a landslide an hour, man, he he's getting more stronger every single day. No reason for him to debate. So nobody expected Trump to actually attend the debate. Now, the only person I guess that was desperate to um, have a debate was Ron DeSantis. He was the only one that said, all right, I'm going to debate. But he is polling badly, man, in New Hampshire. So let's go ahead and get into this, guys. It says ABC News said Tuesday it has canceled this Republican presidential primary debate scheduled for Thursday, five days before the New Hampshire primary, with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, the only candidate committed to appear. Well, he can't debate himself, <laughs> you know, but he could do what Trump does, you know, hold the town hall or something like that. But anyway. Former President Donald Trump, the winner of Monday's Iowa caucuses, who has skipped all of the previous GOP primary debates, planned to sit out Thursday. And former uh, South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, who is a Democrat, by the way, who finished third in Iowa, said Tuesday she would not attend the debate if Trump wasn't there. Yeah, she realized that um, that uh, Trump is the only competition. 
and Trump is not going to um, debate. He doesn't need to. Now, granted, she also finished third in um, Iowa. Her campaign is dead, too. But she's actually, I believe, polling a little bit better in in Iowa, not Iowa, but um, in um, New Hampshire. Get my states confused there. She's polling better in New Hampshire than in Iowa. We'll go over those numbers. Actually, let's just go ahead and look at it right now. Now, this is only a few hours old here on Politico. It says uh, Trump leads Haley by 16 points in New Hampshire. And check this out. The former president garnered 50 percent of support among likely New Hampshire Republican primary voters. Now, it's probably um, it's probably um, Democrats also as well that are um, really, you know, supporting Nikki Haley, even in New Hampshire. Look here. It says um, President Trump has 50 percent. So probably yet again, in this um, primary here, Trump is going to finish over 50 percent. Now it says Nikki Haley is in second place with 34 percent. And DeSantis, he's done. He only has 5 percent. That's why I said he's done. So he was the only one desperate enough to actually um, sign up for um, this debate. Now, Nikki Haley with 34 percent. I'm willing to bet, man. Probably a good 25 percent of that 34 percent support has to be Democrats. We know it. I mean, she's already been exposed already that her money is coming from Democrats. That's just the way it is, man. I mean, this thing is over with, man. It is over with. So nobody is committed to doing one single debate. And I don't believe there should be any more debates. It's over it. It's going to be Trump. And some people still don't believe it's actually going to be uh, Joe Biden. Maybe it won't. But as of right now, it's Joe Biden, you know, unless Democrats um, um, pull somebody out the bullpen that we don't see coming. I mean, for a while there, a lot of people are talking about um, Gavin Newsom actually coming in and um, replacing uh, Joe Biden. We really haven't heard anything from Gavin Newsom. But regardless, even if it's on uh, Trump and Biden, which it probably will be, there's going to be no general election debates. There is no way in the world the Democrats are going to let Joe Biden debate. The man is in worse shape right now than he was um, in 2020. I mean, physically, mentally, he, he's he gone, man. He's gone. There, There's going to be no debates. And we know that. I would be shocked if um, there was actually a debate. Now, I would love to see that. I would love to see Trump and uh, Joe Biden debate. That'd be hilarious. But I believe the DNC, the Democrats, his handlers, they're not going to let him do it. It is not going to happen, guys. But when it comes to this um, Republican debate, New Hampshire, yeah, it's over with. ABC knows it is over with. And that's the real story right here. That is the real story. They're just not saying it. OK, but that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time.